uh, people, neighbors, saw strange behavior, but they didn't say anything about it because, and I'm going to paraphrase, because they were being politically correct. Because they've been indoctrinated today that if you see something uh, happening with somebody who is of Middle Eastern descent, you know, you've, gotta, you, you've almost got to go the extra mile and, and uh, not believe that anything is happening and not say anything about it. And so we're kind of going through a double standard here. Uh, uh, we're speaking out of both sides of our mouth in our society. We're, we're, we're saying, you know, be tolerant to the point of being stupid, maybe. And uh, on the other side, we need to report suspicious behavior. Well, we, we can't do both. We have to report suspicious behavior. And so far, to the best of my knowledge, there hasn't been uh, a, a, a Christian terrorist. If you see something, you need to say something. Um, and I think it's uh, very important that we all be very uh, vigilant. And I also think that I um, would hope that Mr. Trump would tone down his comments. Uh, I don't think that they're helping. As a matter of fact, I think they're hurting. Um, and I think we all have to now, uh, I think, join together to try to make sure we do everything in our power to not uh, allow our society uh, to be divided. But clearly, um, I think all Americans have to be vigilant now. And um, I think that we are facing a new normal, and we have to accept that. Well, we're safe as the FBI can keep us, but no, it's a dangerous world. Uh, let me just say, I have nothing other than to say, I, uh, direct, <coughs> I think direct, uh, Director Comey made it clear that the FBI is uh, conducting a thorough investigation. It's far from over, and uh, no one is certain where it's going to lead. But I think, I would say, speaking for myself and talking to other members, that they have confidence that the FBI is doing all that can be done. I have my own views, but that's a different. I, I believe there should be much more surveillance in the Muslim community here in the United States. The only way you're going to find out this in advance is to do the same type of 24-7 uh, surveillance that was done in the Italian-American communities when they're going after the mob, mafia, and the Irish communities when they're going after the Westies. You look where the uh, terror threat is going to come from, and right now it's going to come from the Muslim community, and it's a small percentage, but to me the only way you find out about it in advance is by having sources and informers on, on the ground with constant surveillance.